fact of the matter is, with this particular plane, like, it can be really good, but really need to focus more on its, um, I don't focus on the J8M, I do better when I don't focus on getting the kills. When I'm just being a huge pain in the ass, that's the best games that I have with the J8M. Um, and if I'm if I'm flying with that kind of mentality, then uh, you know I tend to have a better game, quote unquote. Uh, all right, so Siggy is on the enemy team in a Key 94. They got an IL 20, an I 250. I mean, obviously nothing can hang with me as far as speed is concerned. The Doe 335. Now, I'll be okay. Um, and so that's what we just need to focus on is our Can we let go of the screen? Thank you focus on our speed, right? Let's get some altitude and Let's go <clears throat> So we are top dogs here we are a top tier um, I might not necessarily be the most effective J8M pilot what was it? This is the um, ME165 Comet. Is that what this was? 165, 169, 18... No, 165? Crap. Somebody tell me what the um, the number was on this. I forget off the top of my head. The German version of it. Or, you know, the, the original version of it. It was a Comet with a K. Keep our speed going here. Turn it back around. Das Boostin. I think it was a 163, wasn't it? Man, the frickin' AA is killing me here, huh? Look at how much frickin' damage I just took just from the anti aircraft. What the friggadig, man? <clears throat> that seems legitimate. 163. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, bulldozer, how are you? The J8M is one of those planes, there's a handful of planes like this that the more you play it, just like consistently, the, the better you're going to get with it. The Horton's one of them too, but it's got some more flexibility. Um, you know, you just get used to the lead on the cannons, you get used to the speed, the lack of maneuverability, yada yada yada, you know exactly what you're doing. Let's get the heck out of Dodge here. The problem is, or my problem with it is, is you know, I expect it to be more effective. I expect my cannons to get some decent shots in. To get the kills. And it doesn't always work that way. And like, you just gotta kinda let it go sometimes when it comes to the ineffectiveness of the 30 millimeter cannons. Sometimes you're gonna get shots like that where you're just like, okay, but you go to expect that and that's where you start failing. Um, I'm gonna go for this dough. Cannons overheating, cool. Can we get this sector? Is that a possibility? Is it something that we're not allowed to do? Are we not allowed to take the center location here? I guess the enemy team could probably be thinking the same thing. All right, let's just keep moving. No turning, not allowed. So I guess my biggest thing with this plane might be the fact that I don't play it like, you know, 10 matches in a row where I would be effective. I play it on a one-off as, as I'm streaming or something like that, and of course it's going to be a pain in the ass in that kind of situation. Let's just boost along here. The hell out of dodge. As you do. Let's go get this XP-75. Let's 
There we go. Let's focus on the planes that we can take advantage of. Come on. Deep breaths here. There we go. There we go. Nope, not turning with you. Can't make me turn with you. Whatever the heck that was, I don't even care. Let's just keep on shooting the next thing. Wah! Nope, I'm not even going to turn with this freaking XP-72. Or B-40, whatever it is. P-47. Ain't going to do it. Not going to do it. Rockets. Yeah, I know. Come on, BVP, you know better than this. Problem is, my cannons might not hit, you know? It's just two 30mm cannons. Yeah, I guy should have been dead, but we'll just fly right past. We don't care. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, let's go for the heavy. Ah, crap, even the heavy's out turning us. Let's ignore the heavy. Siggy again. He's got no engine. That's a good time to attack him. XP 75 again. Knocked out his engine. Took care of him. Turn back around. I feel like I'm being pretty darn effective actually with this particular plane in this particular battle. Nope. Ignoring you. tap -ity tap 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 good thing is like the dough cannot get away right so I've got that I got all the time in the world there's no friendlies of his you know no extra enemies over there that could uh, be taking care of me And that's what you really need to do. That's what I find effective in this plane is one-on-one -on -one engagements where I can dictate the engagement. That's where I'm going to be the most effective. I can't just get myself stuck in to any kind of ridiculousness. All right, so squall line. So this is typically where either I uh, can completely own the enemy team, get myself a, a solid end to a solid game, or I fuck it all up and die. Which is it going to be this time? Stay tuned. Alright, so... XP 75. There we go. Um, looks like our mining facility is going to flip in just a second. <clears throat> Ooh, there's a cluster of planes over there. I really don't like being... Anywhere near a cluster of planes when I'm in this plane. Because all it really takes is... This is such a fragile plane, right? It's super fast, but super fragile. And I do not need to be getting, uh, you know, picked apart by a group of enemy fighters. Multi-role fighters. Whatevers. There is a... Speaking of fighters... There's some sort of fighter there. Let's use our boost to get away. Oh, it's the I-250. Oh, that's the end of the game. Ah, just able to just really just dictate each engagement, right? And not be, well, I didn't kill him. So it doesn't matter. The important part with the J-8M is to keep going, keep yourself safe enough, whether that's by your speed or by your altitude. Um, focus on the situation. Is it a good time to turn back around and kill that plane behind us? Or is it, uh, you know, time to just keep moving on? Let's head back. Yeah, it was super effective in that particular battle. Like, but that's just because the cannons were hitting, right? This plane, the, the times that this plane is most frustrating is when the cannons don't do what you expect them to do. And that, that can be said of any plane that's got two 30mm cannons, but it's especially true of this plane because the cannons are such short range compared to other 30mm cannons. Um, 
that it can be super, super frustrating, right? Um, this was not a super, super frustrating battle. This I was able to be as effective as I, I could possibly be. Um, took down, I, again, I just focused on the planes that, that I knew I could be effective against. So the fighters that I killed were on super low health. And Siggy, I think you were like three of them. Uh, like, but that was just because you were in front of me on like no health. So it was like, okay, my 30 millimeter cannon is going to hit you or it's not. If it hits you, you're dead. If it doesn't, I'm going to go zoom in past and just keep on keeping on, right? Look how many heavy fighters I killed. Seven. That's kind of got to be the focus of the J8M. Go for the planes that... Heavy fighters rely on their speed, right? But nothing's going to outspeed a J8M. The heavy fighters can't do a whole lot against you if you are diligent and you just, you know, you're patient. Don't overheat the guns. And then, so that was my focus is take out as many heavy fighters as I possibly can and then take advantage of the other planes that just happen to be around, whether it's low health fighter or multi roll, taking down ground attackers or bombers from time to time. And that's, you know, that's what I find to be most effective with the J8M. Otherwise, it can be a very frustrating plane. Uh, but this was a fun game. Uh, and one hell of a way to end a stream, in my opinion. And so we are going to be wrapping up the stream at this particular point. Uh, thank you all for joining me. I'm sorry that I was away for as long as I was. Um, but I'm glad to be back. I will be back streaming again on Friday. <clears throat> and then Saturday, my normal North American server stream. My longer stream. Um, I'm going to be trying to expand. I know I talked about this a couple weeks ago, but then a couple weeks have ha crap happened. Um, I do want to try to expand some of my um, um, streaming possibilities, whether it's longer stream on Saturday into Sunday, or I might start streaming uh, more often during the week, specifically doing some Hell Let Loose with Raz Bora, who was on earlier. Um, I know I've done... So I don't think I've streamed Hell Let Loose. I could be wrong. Maybe I did once. Um, I've definitely played it uh, quite a bit. Uh, but just trying to just do some extra extra stuff. Um not necessarily all World of Warplanes kind of stuff, right? So hopefully you guys join me for that. Uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this last battle that we had. Had some pretty good battles. Nothing like over the top good today. A lot of good wins. There's some frustrating losses. But um, overall, a good uh, first stream back on the EU. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate you joining me today. 